Hey everyone and welcome back. Today we're watching the eighth episode of The Last of Us. So last episode, Ellie and Riley went to the mall together. I liked seeing the mall. I think it looked visually really cool. We left off with Riley and Ellie both getting bit. Now obviously we know that Ellie doesn't get, she doesn't turn. Mm -hmm. So I, I feel like it might be left to interpretation. I don't know if we're gonna continue that and actually see like what happened. My assumption would be she obviously didn't turn and she did and she probably had to either kill her or run away. But I mean, it would be kind of crazy just to, to have somebody like, like I feel like I would want to see what happened because mm -hmm. that was probably a big moment. The first time she found out she was, she was immune and like what would she do then, you know? Yeah, and she'd probably watch Riley turn. Right. Um, Riley probably tries to attack her. Last episode, uh, y'all informed us that that covered the DLC, which I've actually played the game. Casey hasn't played the game, but I'd never played like, I guess like the expanded things that would that came after the game. Um, I did think the episode was a little bit slower. However, I feel like that was also attributed to the fact that, you know, where it was kind of like a flashback where we kind of already knew Ellie was alive. So it was kind of, as the, the story just began, it kind of felt like you already knew where it was going throughout. I will say, though, this is the second time that the show has done a flashback that's majority of the episode. I think it was, like, probably, like, almost 80, 90% of the episode was a yeah. flashback here. And I'm not saying I didn't like what we saw in the flashback, but I don't know how I feel about that format of, like, a, uh, an episode being almost entirely flashback. I think that it does kind of take you out of, of the main storyline, but like it's kind of weird because I did enjoy the storyline and I, I enjoyed the Bill and Frank episode too and I enjoyed what we saw here. But I think I do want to see Joel and Ellie's story progress forward. Like it almost makes me wonder if the flashbacks were integrated a little bit more into the main storyline versus the flashback being the main storyline. Like and flashback for 40 minutes and then come right, back to right. Joel and Ellie there. Yeah, like end. I'm wondering if maybe while Ellie was helping Joel, uh, we could have seen like flashbacks like dispersed a little shorter flashbacks um, mm -hmm. just to kind of see like where she was. I mean, I still understood where they were going with it and I still understood why that was such an important moment for her and she didn't want to lose somebody else. Like I got that. But I think just like formatting wise, I think maybe the flashback could have just been a little shorter. But I still liked what I saw in the flashback. But I think just like in terms of pacing, I think I want to focus a little longer on the main storyline. But I don't know. That's just my opinion. <laughs> no, as a game player, I feel feel like these uh, these two episodes that we've had where we were kind of weren't focusing on our primary protagonists. I feel like, you know, the moments we've had with Bella Ramsey and uh, Pedro Pascal, like as their characters of Joel and Ellie, have been impactful in their like relationship building, but I feel like in the game there was even more relationship building um, that you got to focus on them a little bit more to up to this point, and it just felt like a little bit more natural for me. Now, with that being said, I'm anticipating these last two episodes to be very jam-packed. Uh, this episode in particular, I feel like should be pretty fun. Um, and then I think that the, the the game ended so great that I'm really excited to see like the, the finale to see how that is translated onto screen. All right, well, let's go ahead and get into it. Revelation 21. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. Well, they have church. When can we bury him? Oh, she just lost someone then. The ground is too cold to dig. We'll bury your father in the spring. Oh, it was her father. How much do we have left? The whole town on rations. Maybe a week. Josiah and Martin think they spotted some deer the other night. I sensed doubt in there. They haven't lost faith in you, David. They're just scared. Not from them. I still believe. Last six months have been hard. But I need to know you're with me. What is... Why does this feel kind of weird? Good. Like, this doesn't feel like something a, a pastor would say. I don't know. And also, why did he say they haven't lost faith in you, <laughs> not in God? Like, I don't know what's up with that. I'm getting weird vibes. I don't know. Is she gonna go try to hunt? Is she gonna run into them? Because they were going to hunt. I feel like that's gonna happen. You could have venison. Oh, she got it! Might just have to track it a yeah. little bit. Wow, but how are you gonna take it back? What do you think? Oh. No. Oh, they found it! I don't see anybody. You think we can just take it? No, I mean, obviously somebody shot it! Nearby. 
They're just gonna take somebody's food? Don't! Oh. Drop your rifles! <laughs> now! You're quite a hunter. We didn't even hear you coming. Turn around and walk away. Look, if you're nice, maybe we could split it. We're not asking for charity. We, we can trade you. Boots. Medicine? Mmm. Mm. Like for infections. Buddy boy can go get it. He comes back, <laughs> you get half the deer. Oh, there you okay. go. Negotiating. I actually started believing after the world ended. Oh. Before that, I was a teacher. So I sent four of our people to a nearby town to, to scavenge what they could. And only three of them came back. And the one that didn't was a father. He had a daughter just like you. Oh, that was the one who died. And her dad was taken from her. Oh. Turns out he was murdered by this crazy mm -hmm. man. And get this, that crazy man was traveling with a little girl. <gasps> you see? Wait. <laughs> you remember the Joe guy? Joe killed. The guy that he guy? stabbed. Oh my gosh, the <laughs> one at the university. Oh my gosh. She killed Alec, didn't she? She didn't kill anybody. Lower the gun. I knew I got vibes. I mean, like, your people attacked them, though. So, like, what's up with that? What do you have to say about that? Huh? Like, they were running away. Joe. <laughs> Joe, where the fuck do I put this? Um, I wouldn't fucking know. I don't know. Yeah. I guess close oh, do to you it? Do it. I don't know. I don't even know. I oh. feel like close to it's better than not close to it, right? But honestly, wouldn't like the medicine go the whole body anyway? Because like if you take it orally, it could like help whatever. I have no idea. I'm not yeah. a doctor. The medicine. Tomato paste. What is it? Venison. Why do you seem like disappointed by it? You'd think they'd be like all excited if you're starving. What's wrong? Wait. Big one. Hold on. They just said venison and they hadn't even cut into that deer. What was that? Did they have leftover venison? If you've heard a rumor, yes, we found a girl who was with the man who took Alec from us. When the sun rises, I'll lead a group out to pick up her trail. Won't be hard to find in the snow. And we'll bring that man to justice. You should kill him. You should kill both of them. <gasps> oh, shit! Oh my gosh! I freaking knew I had vibes. Like, you are not acting like a pastor should, uh, sir. Just go and slap a child. That was more than a slap, that was I like know. a backhand. I know you think you don't have a father anymore. Is he about to say, like, truth is, I'm Hannah, your father? You always have a father. And you will show him respect when he's speaking. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. He's like cult leader type. See, as soon as they said they don't have faith in you, because, mm -hmm. like, God. yeah, it felt weird from that moment on. And he found religion and God after the apocalypse. He's probably just using it as a manipulation tactic. Yeah. That makes me upset. And now, what freaking meat is this? I have a theory. Should I say it? Say it if you say it. Is it human? I mean, I wasn't gonna answer your theory. I feel like it's. I feel like it's human. Look at how they're all acting. You like you got venison. You'd be like, I'd be excited. Ooh, and he's like, mm, delicious. I don't know. Maybe I'm like way off. Maybe it's like horse or something. Maybe <laughs> you don't eat horse. But even then, if you're starving, you know. So like you'd kind of take what you can get. That's hopefully not human. It's giving me like kingdom vibes, but don't want to spoil kingdom, but kingdom vibes. <laughs> Is it possible to overdose on penicillin? <laughs> what should you do? Well, I don't know about the injection, but like, yeah. don't you take it like twice a day? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like at that point you just like hope and pray. <laughs> and be like, <laughs> let's hope that that's working. I don't mean to question your sense of mercy, David. We can let her go. We bring that girl back with us. She's just another mouth to feed. If we leave her out here, she'll die. Yeah, maybe that's God's will. Oh my gosh. Dang. It's like, <laughs> don't know. question his authority or whatever. Joe, Joe, wake up. I guess the penicillin Joel, kicked in. Joel. I'm gonna lead them away from you. But if anybody makes it down here, you fucking kill them. You know <laughs> <it>? <laughs> Wow, Ellie's doing the most. Mm -hmm. That's loyalty right there, yeah. you know, trying to protect him. 
And the fact that she's so young too, like I feel like it's easy to forget that she's only like, what, 14, like 14? I think. Like that's crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh, Ellie! <laughs> what an entrance! <laughs> oh dang! That's a freaking horse. I got her! You got the horse probably, not her. Do it. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, freaking Palpatine. <laughs> really? You're just gonna shoot a kid? Uh, David. Two of you with me. Drag the horse. Why is he like so obsessed with taking her back? Mm. Oh my gosh. I mean, at least he's like awake. I mean, barely. If you can count that as awake. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. What? <laughs> when the pel penicillin kicks in. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, now they're gonna try to seek vengeance on you twice. <laughs> yeah. Him staring at you the whole damn time. Now you gotta muster some strength because there's at least like three other dudes that are actively looking. I started worrying you wouldn't wake up. Help me out. Well, He's kind of creeping me out. Hungry? Oh shit. Was that another one? I think so. Or. Oh, oh yeah, uh, there oh. he is. I was like, was he playing dead? <laughs> Got him. Interrogate. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Joel's like, like sick, and <laughs> like on death's door. And I don't know any girl. Oh, <laughs> Jesus! Oh, fuck! Fuck! Oh, the town! What town? Silver Lake. He will not lose another daughter. Town name. It's a resort. Oh, oh. oh. oh my God! <laughs> oh. Oh. You're gonna point to where we are and where your resort is, and it better be the exact same spot your buddy points to. <laughs> oh my gosh. Marked in blood. <laughs> Go ask him, he'll tell you I'm not lying. Oh! <laughs> no. Wow. Fuck, did you do that? He told you what you wanted. He took something close to him that he cares father, about. Fuck you. It's okay. No. I believe him. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Joel was like savage. Dang. That's like Rick Grimes with a beard vibes. No. <laughs> what did she see? Don't eat that. I don't trust that. Do not eat that. Oh my gosh! I was right. I picked up what they were putting down. Mm -hmm. It's human meat. For what it's worth, this is just deer meat, I swear. Mm -hmm. Ew. You're so like. Chop me up into little pieces. Oh my gosh, is that why he wanted no, her? Not. Oh. Please just tell me your name. Well, think about this too. The only fucking body they had was the one who died, which was the girl's dad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Remember where he said we can't bury the body to the spring? Oh no, yeah, you're right. You remind me of me. Don't you're project onto leader. me. I, you just met, you <laughs> met her like two seconds ago. Oh, you friggin' freak. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know anything about me. But I do. If I let you out of that cage right now, put that knife of yours in your hand, you'd stick me in a second. Now, what kind of teacher were you? Mm -hmm. This is like crazy. I've always had a violent heart. Oh my gosh. And I struggled with it for a long time. Oh, what? And now the apocalypse happens and you're like, wow. Oh I have free reign to I be know. crazy. Like cordyceps. Oh my gosh. What does cordyceps do? Is it evil? No. It's fruitful. It multiplies. And it secures its future with violence if it must. Because you can handle it. The way the others can't. Why is he trying to like morph her to be like his like, I don't know, prodigy or mm. something? The Sith is looking for their Padawan. Oh, no. I'm a shepherd surrounded by sheep and all I want is an equal. It's Weirdo. strange. She's like 14. This is like weird to be talking about her like that. Think of what we could do together. 
as strong I know, as we are. It's keeping me out. Yeah. Like, I don't know if that's I mean, what he's intending. the fact that intending. you're uh, a cannibal already is right. not, a, <laughs> not already creepy, but... Like, I don't know. The way he's saying it, I like, know. phrasing it is, like, weird. Imagine the life we could give them. Making me icky. I feel icky. We could build. Ew! No! Is that really what they're going for? Like, where they're going with that? It's freaking me out. It makes me scared that you were a teacher. Yeah. Ew. Oh! <laughs> Let's see what I go tell the others now. Tell them that Ellie is a little girl who broke her fucking finger! <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, that is insane. No! 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 I'm infected! Oh, oh! I'm infected. Show the bites. Uh, oh, because he. Oh! oh. He's gonna freak out. He's gonna freak out. <laughs> now she would have turned by now. This isn't mm -hmm. real. That looks pretty fucking real to me. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> real enough to buy some time. Oh, he's like, ooh, dinner. <laughs> I gotta put him under ice later. <laughs> I know. Gosh. <laughs> oh, that's gonna burn. I don't really have time to put it out. Even though you should. I know, you probably would think you need to save your, like, building. building. This is like your meat market. No one infected fights this hard to stay alive. Mm, well, he saw through that, but... <laughs> What's the secret? Or are you just that fucking special? <laughs> well, she is special. You don't know how good I am! <laughs> okay. You don't know what I could have given you! Weirdo, Weirdo. I know. Ellie. <gasps> oh. Oh. I thought you already knew. The fighting is the part I like the most. Oh my, uh, he's crazy. Be afraid. There's no fear in love. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Dang, Ellie. <laughs> Welp. No! Oh, 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 it's Joel. No! It's just Joel. No! Oh. No! And she handled herself like. Yeah. It's okay, baby girl. Oh. He said, baby girl. See, that's how a father is. <laughs> Not like the other one. And off they go. So what'd you think? I liked that episode a lot. I saw the cannibalism coming only because once it was when they brought in the meat and they weren't excited about it. Yeah. And it was and then when you saw them bring in the deer, like obviously it wasn't the deer they just caught. Yeah, they were talking about it. not having food. Right. And it's like, why would you if you were starving, why would you not be excited to have meat like I that? I was just trying to keep my mouth shut because I obviously knew where it was going. And I was like, okay, Casey kinda caught on to it a little early, but I was just gonna sit there. I think I like smirked at the camera at one point because I was like, Oh yeah, I mean it's true. Yeah. Uh, I feel like, you know, they they leave those hints there for for you to pick up right. on, obviously, because they wouldn't have just dragged the deer into like you know the main hall yeah. um, right after they said them, venison. Like eating like <laughs> like all like afraid. But what's crazy? I guess they did have like three bodies there. But another uh, hint was like um, I mentioned it during the episode. They said like the dad that died. That oh, Joel I didn't stabbed. pick that one up it, about the body. The but, ground was too hard to dig, yeah. so we'll bury him in the spring. Yeah, I didn't catch that, but once you said it, it, it did make sense. Yeah, which is pretty like messed up. Yeah, that is messed. And like the girl like, ate her own dad like that's really messed up and crazy you know yeah, I've, I've picked up on vibes from david like it just it just something wasn't sitting right with me with that him. thing you picked up on right as like i guess the the sermon was over before yeah. it was really too like the faith uh, in you yeah, yeah yeah i mean that's i feel like you picked up really early right. on to be honest overall though i feel like it was very much closely adapted 
to the game. Um, pretty much, I think, I can't really think of too much. Like, I know, like, that scene in the diner, it was a kind of a situation where, like, you were playing as Ellie and you had to kind of, like, stab him multiple times. Obviously, that'd be hard to, like, you know, oh, I'm gonna stab you once and then go run around a right. little bit and then come stab you again later. But almost exactly, like, I think it played out that way. I, if I'm not mistaken, Joel may have, like, walked into the burning building and grabbed her, but I mean, he still got, like, the same effect here because he was, like, you know, in the process of looking uh, for her. They did still have that exact same brutal moment that he had when he was torturing those guys, uh, which I remember being like a pretty crazy moment. And then obviously kind of it was like juxtaposition there with Ellie doing the same kind of like, you know, kill <laughs> like to that guy there, David, at the end. Yeah, I like seeing Ellie go that far. I like seeing that she was able to take care of herself yeah. in that way um, and that she was able to do it. Obviously, that's going to affect her. But she, she stood up for herself and, you know, she didn't need Joel to save her. He yeah. was going to come save her, obviously, but she handled it. Yeah. And, like, I really liked seeing that. I feel like that was a really, really big moment for her. All right, well, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.